Yeah, hello friends. My name is Prasanna Sharma. So today I'm going to discuss about the biogas plant. The concept of biogas was first introduced by the Persians in 16th century, and the biogas is an eco-friendly fuel gas and it is a renewable energy. In the 16th century, the Persians were the first who introduced the biogas plant, and in modern era, this technique was first set up in Bombay in 1859. So the composition of biogas are the fifty composition of biogas are the fifty five to seventy percent of methane, thirty to forty percent of carbon dioxide, a small amount of hydrogen sulfide, moisture, and siloxanes. Siloxanes is the nothing but a, is it is a, a functional group of silicon. So the biogas is formed from the anaerobic degradation in absence of oxygen of organic compound in a digester tank. So the methanogenic bacteria or the methanogens are the bacteria which produce methane and use a source of biogas. And the methanogenic bacteria like the methanococcus, which is usually found in cow dung, is used as a source of biogas. And the methanogenic coccus, methanobacterium, and like the methanosporium are the source of um, biogas. And uh, it produces methane gas and used for the domestic appliances, for the cooking purposes, for the fire, and for any other do domestic appliances. Uh, so, friend, it is a very, uh, very uh, uh, clean energy. So today, uh, so the next slide is about the biogas production. The how the biogas is produced. So the biogas can be produced uh, in a fixed type of biogas plant. It is because it is very easy to use. So the, you can see here the mixing tank. In the mixing tank, the we can um, add here the cow dung or any other households. And after adding with the in a mixing tank, we have to add water to make it slurry. After making the slurry. The slurry goes to the inlet chamber, the digester tank, and the digester tank is the main hub where the four processes occur, like the hydrolysis, acidogenesis, and acetogenesis, and the methanogenesis. And in the, which is and these states are uh, occur in the in absence of oxygen in the digester tank, and which is produced uh, anaerobically. So therefore, friends, after forming all these stages. There is a production of biogas or the methane, which is uh, supplied for the gas control is help to the gas stove for the or for any other domestic appliances, and the remaining product in the digester tank during the anaerobic degra degradation is used as a fertilizer or a manure for the crops and is very beneficial for the farmers for the for uh, for the crops also. So therefore, friends, this is the procedure or the mechanism of the biogas production. So it is very easy to use, uh, and it is very low expensive and very sustainable, friends. So and this is the production of biogas. So the what is the importance of biogas in our practical life? Why do we need it? The production and the utilization of biogas has the socio-economic benefits for the society, because friends, due to the deforestation, many trees are cut down and being used in the area where the electricity assets are not. Available, so friends, we can use their biogas for uh, because it's a good option. It's a biofuels and it also a non-polluting energy and it's also renewable. So friend, we can use the biogas as a uh, non-polluting energy and for the purpose of cooking, for the electricity purposes, for the fire. And the due to the uh, due to the uh, fossil fuels, which are the non-renewable resources and very uh, harmful for our society. So friends. Uh, It also reduces the dependency in fossil fuels like the um, petroleum, diesels, etc. So, friends, uh, it is also contribute to the reducing the volume of wastes which are uh, religious, abundantly in from the industries, from the uh, from the households. So, it also reduces the volume of wastes. So, as compared to the other biofuels like the ethanol, gasoline, it requires the low water inputs. Because biogas is produced anaerobically in absence of oxygen, so it requires low amount of water for the production of the methane gas and use as a source of biogas. So, friends, it is the uh, importance of biogas in our practical life. So, friend, it's very uh, good option for our future generation. As we know that the fossil fuels are will be extinct in our future generation. So, um, I'm going to the next slide, the conclusion part. The study carried out by the Acker Associates Limited, which is located in Belgium, stated that biogas, which is produced from the food and beverages, can be used as a source of low carbon commercial transport fuel for the future. Okay, and recently the government of India offers the alternative fuels like the biogas 
ethanol for the vehicles government of india decided that by 2022 they will they will launch the biogas bus biogas trains or the ethanol gasoline uh, vehicles for the because uh, india has the lots of raw materials and is very and so therefore the biogas is a good option for our nations because due to the pollution due to the fossil fuels uh, uh, they, uh, due to the fossil fuels there's a large amount of carbon dioxide is religious and also harmful for the whole environment so if we use the biogas in our future generation it also releases the low amount of carbon dioxide and these carbon dioxide are easily trapped by the plants or any trees so there is no greenhouse emissions as we uh, so therefore friends it is a very clean energy we can use in our future generation so friends if you like my video please share it or please uh, subscribe the bell button